The game industry is no stranger to layoffs, and Epic Games is looking to throw their hat into the ring. Tim Sweeney, CEO of Epic Games, made a statement today on behalf of Epic. Epic has laid off 16% of their employees, amounting to 830 people. For additional context, according to Forbes, Tim Sweeney has a current net worth of $4.2 billion. Tim owns more than 50% of Epic Games. Tencent, the tech giant from China, owns roughly 40%. Epic is also not publicly traded. Tim goes on to cite sustainability as the primary reason for these layoffs. He says they are spending more money than they earn. Fortnite has grown, but mostly from content creators, and their revenue share limits their profit. And although most people would generally prefer to have their jobs, Tim then goes on to explain they've given them a relatively generous severance package. They appear to be offering a package of six months base pay and six months of epic paid healthcare for all former employees from US, Canada, or Brazil. This is in addition to offering accelerated stock option vesting and general career assistance. For context, the average severance package is one to four weeks of pay for every year of service. This is according to Will Ashworth at Kiplinger. Epic will be focusing on its core functions, continuing to invest in games in and around Fortnite. This is referring to other titles they own, like Fall Guys, but also their usage of their Epic Games launcher as a distribution platform. Tim then goes on to say that there will be no more layoffs, they will continue to hire for critical roles, and that they are continuing to fight Apple and Google in their ongoing legal battles surrounding distribution monopolies and taxes. He then finishes off his statement with vague aspirations about the metaverse, a term usually relating to virtual reality and blockchain-related projects. So what does this mean for consumers as well as developers? This round of layoffs at Epic is joining an ongoing trend surrounding the games industry. Just this year, EA laid off 1,000 employees, also Unity laying off 600. Down in the description below, you can check a Kotaku article that is constantly being updated showing all the different layoffs that has happened in the general gaming industry only in the past year. All this instability is leading to a growing fear as well as a lack of trust in the AAA gaming industry. This is all despite the gaming industry making almost 347 billion US dollars in 2022. Twitter user and indie game developer TJ GameDev says, I obviously feel terrible for all those affected by the layoffs at Epic, but it's nuts that the studio behind Fall Guys was hit hard. To release a game that was part of the zeitgeist of the 2020s and still be looking at unemployment just a few years later is insane. I'm saying this as someone who's always dreamed of working in the industry since I was a kid. Indie Dev was supposed to be a stopgap, a way of building up a portfolio so that one of the big studios would take a chance on me. But now, would I want to take a chance on them? And that just about wraps up the story. Before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to Kill the Crows. Moving forward, I'll be ending every news story with a positive news story or an indie game that I think is cool. These will always be unsponsored and just things that I think are kind of neat. Kill the Crows has a great aesthetic and does wonders at making you feel like a skillful, epic god gamer. And uh, I've had a lot of fun with it and I'm sure many people will as well. So check it out. All this for only $5. Thank you all for watching, like, subscribe, and check back later for the next news story. Have a wonderful day, and take care.